don't tell, homosexual men and women in the military have been banned from talking about their sexuality with each other for 15 years. But as attitudes in America change, some lawmakers say, so should that law. Fox's Douglas Kennedy just spoke with a lawmaker who is leading the drive to reverse the policy. Thanks. Yes, yeah, the attitudes are changing and we are just months away from electing a new president. Democrats who oppose the policy say they see an opening. Lift the ban now! Don't ask, don't tell, don't continue. That's the hope of House Democrats who are holding hearings tomorrow on the 15-year-old compromise policy allowing homosexuals to serve in the military. It is really an opportunity for the first time in many years for the don't ask, don't tell policy to have um, a, a review. California Congresswoman Ellen Tauscher is the lead sponsor of a bill looking to repeal the policy signed into law in 1993 by President Clinton. She says now is not the time to be barring people who are more than capable of serving. We're fighting two wars and we have an overstretched military. Uh, we have uh, too many people that are on their third, fourth and fifth tours in Iraq or Afghanistan. Absent from tomorrow's hearing at the House Subcommittee on Military Personnel will be any officials from the U.S. military who have traditionally been opposed to gays openly serving. Last year, for instance, Peter Pace, then chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, was caught on audio tape calling homosexuality bad behavior. I do not believe that the armed forces of the United States are well served by some of our policies that it's okay to be involved in any. Still, for most of the population, times have changed since 1993, when only 44% supported gays serving in the military. A poll published Saturday for the Washington Post shows 75% of Americans now favor gays serving openly. Tauscher says she hopes the time is coming to an end for don't ask, don't tell. It is a time when we have a president that will sign the legislation, uh, and we don't have one now. But she hopes by January we will. Tauscher is a strong supporter of Barack Obama who wants to get rid of don't ask, don't tell. John McCain, Edie, as you know, uh, wants to keep it intact. And what about the lawmakers in general? What's the mood there? Is it only if there's a Democrat as president? It, it, that yeah, that's the through? only way this is going to get done. And it would be, th this bill would go through and it would be, uh, uh, have to sign in the law right when either Barack Obama or John McCain gets elected. You can't imagine, though, a, Democrat, a newly elected Democratic uh, 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 president taking this on. Bill Clinton took this on in 1993, just yep. when he got elected, and, uh, and it right. was a disaster for him. Doug, thank you very much. Yeah. Douglas Kennedy. Well, thank